how the narcissist keeps you from moving on. At some point in the relationship, you told the narcissist that there was a boundary. You showed them that they were doing something you didn't like. And you didn't want them to cross that boundary again. There was nothing wrong with you putting down that boundary. By expressing what you don't approve of, you are practicing self-love and self-respect. You are showing the narcissist that you are not going to tolerate their abusive behavior. But the narcissist then does something which changes the way you see it. When you put down a boundary, you're hoping that the other person cares about you enough to respect that boundary. But the narcissist doesn't respect it. Instead, they will disappear. And it's only a matter of time until there was someone else. Before you even have the chance to heal from all the pain they caused you. All of the pain that led to you putting down that boundary. You were emotionally invested in the narcissist. You were still healing from everything they did to you. And then suddenly they moved on to someone else. As if you never existed. When the narcissist does this, they're trying to make you feel like you've made a big mistake. They want to make it look like they're so happy and they've moved on to someone else. While you're still suffering from everything they did to you. It makes you think you made the wrong decision. Narcissists will move on like you never existed. Because they were never emotionally invested in a relationship. They never really cared about you. They will post pictures on social media as if they've just met their soulmate. They will look really happy. It makes you think that it was something to do with you. Because it looks like they're happy with someone else. It makes you think that you are the problem. But just as they tricked you into believing there's something they're not when you first met them. This is just another one of their lies. Another one of their deceptive tactics. And the narcissist would love for you to believe in it. If you do believe in it, and you try to get close to the narcissist again, you will just be falling for their manipulation. And they want you to do that. Not because they want to get back with you. But because they can now punish you for what you did. They want to punish you for setting that boundary. And they will deliberately ignore or destroy you. When you set a boundary, 
or discard the narcissist. You may want to jump back in to try and save it. Because how the narcissist acts afterwards makes you second guess yourself. It makes you wonder if maybe, maybe you made the wrong decision. They will act like they're really happy and post pictures on social media while you're still suffering. But you have to remember that it's just an illusion. Narcissists only care about their image. Nothing they had with you was real. It was just an act. And it isn't real with their new source either. But if they can get you to think it's real, it makes it more believable for them. They want to make you think you're missing out by not being with them. If you still want to be with them, even while they're with someone else, it makes them feel like they're special. But you have to remember that it's all a lie. They act like they don't want you. Because they want to punish you because you set a boundary or discarded them. They can't even look at you now. Because you rejected them. Because they see it as though that must mean there's something wrong with them. It makes them feel like they're beneath you. And that is something they cannot deal with. They can't deal with a rejection. Their false image cannot survive with that in their life. They can't even look at you. They have to pretend like you don't exist. Because they cannot think that they are beneath anything. To keep their false image alive, they have to reject you. They don't care about how it affects you. Narcissists don't have empathy. They lack the ability to share your feelings or experience. And the way that they just discarded you as though you never existed should only prove to you that they don't have empathy. Which means that they're not going to be able to share the feelings or experiences of whoever they move on with. They're never going to be able to build anything with anyone. They're never going to be happy. It's all an act. And it's designed to fool you. Once you know that, it prevents you from being pulled into something only to get hurt again. And then you can finally move on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon and receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video, descri video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at 
Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.